Step 1. Short hair works best when wearing a bald cap. Comb your hair as flat as possible, away from the forehead. If water isn't enough, use a little styling gel. Sideburns should be short. Step 2. Position the untrimmed cap evenly on the head. Using a makeup lining pencil, draw a light line across the forehead. Step 3. Slowly, with a small, sharp pair of scissors, trim the front of the cap. It will look more realistic if the front edge follows a natural forehead wrinkle. Try not to trim away too much of the thin front edge. Next, mark a line from just underneath the top ear and continue it downward toward the earlobe. Step 4. Trim the cap along the marked lines around the ears. If necessary, trim a little at the sides and back of the neck. Be sure to leave enough cap material to attach it securely to the skin. The cap edge should always be at least one half inch away from the hairline. Step 5. Carefully roll the front edge of the cap upwards. Apply adhesive. Speared gum can be used, but pro adhesive will work for a stronger hold. Gently roll the edge back into position and allow the adhesive to dry. Step 6. The cap is fully glued. Hint. When gluing the back and sides of the neck, tilt the head slightly upward. This will help to minimize wrinkles in your cap. Don't stretch the cap too much while gluing, or it may loosen. Step 7. Using a piece of sponge, stipple two or three layers of liquid latex over all edges. This helps to minimize the seam line. Allow all layers to dry thoroughly. Step 8. Powder all freshly dried latex. Otherwise, these areas will stick together permanently if allowed to come into contact. Step 9. Applying makeup. For best results coloring a bald cap, Graftopian rubber mask grease paints are recommended. They are specially formulated for a total compatibility with all latex rubber bald caps and prosthetics, and will not dry out during application. Step 10. Use rubber mask grease paints on the bald cap and Graftopian cream foundations on the skin. Highlight and shading colors were very lightly added, then the entire face and head was powdered with translucent powder. Step 11. The completed makeup.